Hello, welcome to Flory Models. Review time, A6A Intruder. Okay, this is the Hobby Boss kit. Now, we've seen this particular one in this scale, in 148 scale, done by uh, Kinetic, okay? But this is actually the Hobby Boss one. Now, for those of you who are following along with everything at the moment, you'll know that I'm actually doing the uh, Trumpeter 148 scale kit. And as a lot of you know, um, or have known about, if you build the Trumpeter Tomcat, okay, and then the Hobby Boss one, they go together surprisingly similar. Now, I'm not saying anything here, I'm just speculating that they could be using the same type of design process and same designs and company and molds. Anyway, this particular kit, 148 scale, love the artwork on the front, do like this one. Let's say, because I'm working with the tab pole at the moment, or the drumstick, or whatever you want to call it, okay, it's it really gets to you. You sort of really feel for this aircraft because of, you know, 1960s technology, um, 1960s aircraft, things like that, and you can get great things. The only thing I did notice, and I don't know quite right, but just here, it seems to be I can, as if it's the picture. I don't know if it's supposed to be a speedy type effect or whatever, but it's actually wrong there. Anyway, out of the box, if you can get in it. Beautiful sturdy boxes as ever, with Hobby Boss. So down in here we've got the obligatory leaflet on what's coming out, uh, and some of their very nice stuff. Although, just to be honest, I don't know why, but you see this black patch here? That's done with felt tip. Obviously that colour isn't going to be available. Different. Okay, so we'll start with the old instructions. Okay, so we'll just have those out of the way in a moment. So down in here, just bring this top camera down again. Okay, so as you can imagine, usual thing, we've got tree call outs here and the decals and the various bits and pieces. Then we're moving on with the actual kit itself. So seats going together, as you can imagine, then the cockpit, and then, and then, and then. I'm pausing here because I'm actually building a 30 second one as we speak, which is this big, okay? And the thing I'm actually noticing here is that these are the same instructions as for the 30 second one. So I'm thinking, is this just a mini me? Uh, because this, this is exactly the same as the 30 second kit done by another company called Trumpeter. Anyway, gear going together, as we can imagine, all the way through, which is exactly the same in style and the way it goes apart from this bit here, I must admit, slightly different uh, for the main undercarriage. Okay, there is a slight difference, which is the engine. You don't get the engine. All of this is exactly the same and the way it goes in and together as the actual um, 30 second kit, apart from the 30 second kit has an engine, a complete engine system, looking surprisingly like, I know you've all seen it, but I have it here, I can get hold of it. Um, this is the engine out of the uh, 30 second kit, which I've just finished and just about to install into it. So as you can imagine, it's quite a bit different. But certainly this is the cockpit section, which is, as you can see, this one. This is the 30 second one that I just finished and detailed up. As you can see, it is exactly the same, and I can assure you it goes together exactly the same as this one down here. So anyway, going on, exactly the same. <laughs> the radar set and everything which I've got over there as well is exactly the same as the 30 second one so what we're really getting at here we're not poking fun at the Hobby Boss one we're simply saying that the level of detail is exactly the same as the 30 second one so if you want to watch my one about building the 30 second you could then retro do it to doing exactly the same here because obviously we weathered and we've detailed this area back here and going through so the radar unit goes in it looks like the only thing you don't get is the which we might do I'm going to keep quiet because I've got a feeling it's going to come along in a minute Certainly we've got the engines, uh, the nozzles coming out the back, the wing sections going exactly the same. Again, just a mirror, no, you, you will get it. Um, and then we've got various parts of photo etch, which is quite nice. All the aerials are actually photo etch going in on there and going through. Very nice touch, so the same as the 30 second kit, you can either have the flaps deployed up, same with the ailerons and everything else in there. Speed brakes open or closed, got a beautiful speed brake system on this one. Okay, and then same for the other wing as you make your way through. And then uh, wings in the fold position or the normal, exactly the same as the 30 second kit. Um, the rat or ram air turbine is wrong. 
um, it should be open bladed for the A version. I don't know about later versions, but certainly that's wrong for the A. It should be just the fan blade you see, two blades. Okay, folded up, going into nice detail, which is the same as the second. See, I could have saved myself a lot of money and just built this one. Um, some nice details going in the inside, same as the 30 second. Okay, and then all the way in there, some nice steps. So we've got the photo etch, I do believe is gonna be these parts, which it is, which makes a very nice boarding ladder, which I must admit, I haven't done yet. And then going in, ah, you don't get it. Okay, what I was thinking about is this part here is, okay, is this part, okay? But the difference is on the 30 second one, you get this bit, which is the electronics bay, which is that attaches because this bit goes on here, just like that. And that's the bit that hangs down at the back. So you don't get that one on the 32nd, on the 48 scale kit, you only get it on the 32nd, but trust me, it is the same kit. And obviously the engine bay, you get a full working engine on the 32nd kit, you don't. So apart from those two little detailed areas, it is exactly the same as the 32nd, which is what we found when we did the Tomcats, that the Hobby Boss ones are mini-me versions of the um, Trumpeter, uh, the Trumpeter 32nd kit. Again, everything going on, and then usual thing, got all your weapons, mirrors and tears going on, and a call out of the black. Then we get your markings, okay, which is, uh, okay. Down here somewhere have I got it. Slightly different but close because this is the one for the 30 second kit. Seeing a pattern forming here. But the difference is for the 30 second is a different tail one to that. But certainly it does make you wonder. And obviously we've got one for weapons call outs and things like that. So let's have a look in the box for the decals. So the decals, I won't get these out to be honest because they're gonna be pretty good. They're usually okay, just watch your spelling on how they different spell different things because some of their walkways, in fact we will have a look, so I wanna know if they spell walkway right. So just down here, no step, uh, beware of blast, uh, battery access, speed. yes, unfortunately, um, unless this is a new way of spelling uh, Navy Cruise, but we see this one here, I'm sure that should say walkway, um, and unfortunately it's corkway, and it, it does make you slightly suspicious now because the um, trumpeter kit is done exactly the same as well. I don't say, I'm, you know, I'm not saying they're the same company at all. Right. There you are. Right, anyway. <clears throat> the kit parts. So, this one looks to be very, very good. I must admit, I have to say this now. This is exactly the same as the 30 second one. The level of riveting detail that you can see down here. Hopefully you catch it in the light, just like that. If we have a look up here. Maybe the camera will lock in. I know it's very, very close, so it has a hard time. If we just take that out. You can see, pretty good, all of that. Very, very nice details. Got a little bits going down up here. Slight difference as I say it goes in, but when you compare it, this is the stock part from the 30 second kit. It is exactly the same, apart from obviously this area is cut out and missing because you've got the engines going in. But if you look in, the details are exactly the same. So it is a shrunk down version of the 30 seconds in every shape and form. I can't see any differences between the two. Now, I know what some of you will be saying is that, well, you know, that's how it is. But even the way the wiring's done and down in here is exactly the same. See this one to here and to here. They are exactly the same in there all the way through. So can you see the little pattern forming here? Amazing. 
which if you're following the build that I'm doing now on the Trumpeter one, you know, obviously you could use this one and do exactly the same, but I've actually been singing its praises saying that it's absolutely a fabulous kit. It's going together great, very well. So in theory, this kit should go together just as good as theirs. So, usual thing, we've got nice level of detail. Unfortunately though, we've got a couple of nasty ejector pin marks right where you don't want them on these doors. Okay, so that's a slight difference because to be honest, the uh, 30 second kit doesn't have those. Okay, let's have a look at these wings and see if we can spot any differences. So, tops of the wings, obviously the difference between this one and the uh, kinetic one is these fences. This kit has them, the other one only has them on one wing. You missed that one. Right, so going through, right the way through, we've got no really problems with ejector pin marks. Again, feels a little bit oily, it's got a little bit of recess. Uh, release film on this one. Nice level of detail all the way around here. I've got to do it. And I'm not doing this to be clever, but... <clears throat> See, look, for all those people who are saying it is the same, it's different, you've got the speed brakes down here. Let me just move this one out. As you can see, 48 scale. You see, it's slightly different. It's not the same, just shrunk down. But as you can see, the details are exactly the same. So when you're looking at it like this, down on here, you see the pattern forming here? It is exactly the same. So I'm not gonna do that anymore now. We know they're identical kits in every way, but that's not to track from this point. Beautifully done. We've got a nice mix of raised and recessed paneling on this one. So we've got some nice raised one for strengthening plates, but the level of detail is absolutely exquisite in all these areas. So I'm playing with the cameras and I've moved them all now. Just because I was getting excited. But there we go, hopefully you can see, you catch it in the light. We've got some very nice details on with these ones coming through. So the major difference between this and the 30 second kit is obviously the engine. So this particular one, what you actually get is deeper intakes, which would run then to the first for where the actual engine is on the other one. But as you can see, some nice stuff. The only thing is, I have to say, you've got ejector pin marks absolutely everywhere on this one. Okay, so you've got them inside the intakes. You know, you'd probably want to do something with that. You've got them inside the doors, so they're all sort of down in here as well, which isn't particularly nice. So it is a little bit like ejector pin city in here. Some of it isn't going to matter, others is. Okay, certainly you're probably going to want to take some of these out inside these intakes because you will see down into them. Apart from that, we seem to be okay. So, moving down through the sprue. Cockpit detail, funny enough, is just like the other one. Okay, but moving through, all the details are pretty good. Slightly uh, flashy, not very sharp, full of ejector, uh, release resin, got it all over my hands now but the details aren't too bad. It's just, it's not sharp, okay? You'd expect it to be a little bit sharper in all of these going around them all. But generally, as you can see, I've got the instrument coming at the top here. Some nice detail on that and wiring and everything else. Okay, and then, no. Here's your instrument panel, as you can see it. Just down there, you catch them in the light. All right, there's your inch panel. The nose is in two halves. Funny enough, the 30 second one is just the same. In fact, I don't know where it is. Here it is. <clears throat> just for your comparison, if you're wondering about sizing between the two, I've just put this one together and uh, this is just in primer. All right, so, but to get rid of all the seam out of it was a real pain. Uh, but as you can see, that gives you an idea of how much bigger, if you're thinking about going 30 second, the nose is. All right. Uh, and just generally looking, seem to be all pretty good. Just, I don't know, these the speed brakes, you have them bolted shut, they didn't have them open. Okay, never used them. Apparently it caused really bad stability problems. Okay, but they just don't look as sharp. Now, is this because they have been rescaled perhaps from a certain other larger brother kit, but they just look a little bit softer, they don't look as crisp. 
Okay, certainly the seats are a massive difference to the ones I've just done. They are different um, and working our way through. So a lot of this is just to deal with the way the slats and flaps all work on these details down here. But certainly the seat's got nice detail, don't get me wrong, it's molded in one. On the other one it's in about four or five different parts. It doesn't look too bad at all. Obviously you've got a mirror system there with the other one. <clears throat> And then we've got the tail, which you'll see has some very nice riveting. Hopefully you can see that on that. It's lovely riveting. That'll take a wash, absolutely lovely. And you can weather it and go through right the way through. Got the fences out on the outer wings, as you can see. But generally, hopefully you can see this in the light. It's not catching it exactly brilliant today. But they're very fine, very crisp. There's, they're very even. They're all totally at the same level. Okay, and all things like that, so that's all good. We're not going to hoof all this one out, we've just got the pylons and we've got, you see them down here, it's quite a nice touch. Um, these are the actual, so when you've got the wings folded up, you've got a good level of detail in there. Good level on the pylons, um, this is the radar area and everything else, so we've got the bits in there. And then you've got your obligatory fuel tanks the bits and pieces as you can imagine and your weapons fit so we've got in here we've got clusters we've got snake eyes no we haven't but we have retarded ones no not this kit so you've just got your normal slicks gbu uh, laser guided bomb system and we've got some mirrors on this one so you've got your tears in that one either which is a little bit different okay clear parts and metal work Okay, so your metal work, you've got reinforced gear set down here, which is quite a nice touch, and this little castle nut system on the top, it's good because it gives a nice positive click in when you put the gear in. We've got seeker heads, wing tip lights and things like that down in there. Now this will be, it's like this big brother, comes in one piece, will be the front screen. Oh no, it's alright, it's a hair. I thought it had a scrunch. Okay, so as you can see, beautifully crystal clear. Look at that, that's an absolute gem. That's a beautiful piece, actually. As you can see, it catches the light, which means it's perfect. Very nicely done. And the main one itself. Okay, and there's your main one. Again, no, a little bit wobbly on that one. Perhaps not as good as the front one, but certainly it'll be good when you've got it slid back. You can see some of that lovely detail that you'll do in the cockpit area and everything else straight out of the box. And that is your lot. Okay, to me, it wasn't a surprise that it was gonna be the trumpeter kit. Okay, I'm currently working on the Trumpeter kit and I have to say I'm absolutely in love with it. It's a great kit. Yes, you get things like the engine, which is a stunning piece, but we changed the cockpit and upgraded it and everything else by doing a little bit of simple wiring, things like that. And we turned a very basic, to be honest, not very nice cockpit into something really quite special with just a mixture of dry brushing, a little bit of washes and some wiring. And it just brought it up to, up to speed with everything else. So I can't see any difference from what you would do to this kit. I also have to say, putting together the 32nd one is giving me no problems at all. I'm guessing this is the same one just with a few modifications. So it should go together exactly the same and you should have no problems with it at all. It's a great kit. When you start to work on this aircraft and you start building it and playing with it and detailing it, you'll certainly get probably the bug I've got for it because you really do fall in love with it. It's got very, very quirky. It's got some great look to it. And you can add some absolutely stunning details just by simply a little bit of wiring, as I said, dry brushing and some washes and you're away. So absolutely fine. The price on this particular one is, he's just checking his references, is uh, £48 is the retail on this one. Okay, So it's not the cheapest one around, but we're still talking sub £50. And as I say now, really £50 for a 148 scale kit with good level of detail like this has. Plenty of weapons that will be your aftermarket. The decals you could probably use straight out of the box as well, no problem at all. I think it's quite a bargain because you're not going to need to spend a lot of money on this kit to bring it up to a really fantastic standard. So there we go, ASICS Intruder. The tub pole, the drumstick, whatever you want to call it, it's a great aircraft. Go and get one.